In this video, I'll be showing you how I molded carbon fiber to make three-dimensional decorations for the holiday season. I've already prepped my molds using a mold release, so now I'm going to layer on the resin and the carbon fiber cloth. I've straightened out the weave for each of the parts that's going flat into the mold because that's going to be the final surface on the part once it's popped from the mold. So you want to make sure that that looks nice and straight. thoroughly saturating each layer with the resin before moving on to the next layer. At each stage, the carbon fiber gets pressed firmly into the mold to try and reduce any air bubbles that might be trapped in there. And then just add more resin on top until everything is thoroughly saturated through all the required layers. Once the resin and carbon fiber are applied, I'm placing a piece of peel ply over top of that to allow any excess resin to soak through, and then placing the whole entire setup into a vacuum bag and allowing this to cure under vacuum for about 24 hours. Once it's fully cured, I can now remove those peel ply layers and the breather cloth and release the parts from the molds. We'll still need to remove that PVA that's left on the surface, but for now let's go ahead and start trimming up the excess off of these edges. I used scissors for these parts because they're thin enough that it's not too difficult to cut that way, but for any tight areas or if your carbon fiber is thicker, you'll need to use a Dremel. With the edges pretty smooth now, I'm going to go ahead and add the hanging parts for each of these. So I've got some scraps of leather that I've just cut thin strips out of, and I'm using hot glue to attach these to the inside of each of the bow halves. Now the hot glue works well, and there's already a textured surface from that peel ply, so this does stick quite well. And it is a high temp hot glue, so you do just have to be careful not to overheat the resin and cause the part to deform, but the high heat does allow the bond to be nice and secure. Now 
With the leather in place, I'm going to go ahead and add some extra glue and stick down the second half for the bow. With the halves securely attached, now is the time to go ahead and clean up those edges one final time using sandpaper to ensure that they meet evenly and that there are no sharp edges left behind. Just make sure especially on any sharp pointed parts that those get rounded neatly. I removed the last traces of sanding dust with a paper towel that's been dipped in alcohol, and these are now ready to hang from the tree.